Thanks, Nancy. Here with Grandmaster Vladimir Kapian, who is on a perfect three out of three after defeating uh, Larry Christensen. Vladimir, congrats. Thank you. Um, your thoughts on today's game? Uh, the game was very complicated, and uh, so don't <laughs> expect from me that, um, uh, I mean, it was very uh, complicated. Many possibilities for both sides all the time. And so, uh, I mean, all these moves that, for example, Queen E1, I was not sure that this, I mean, there is a rookie one, of course, there is Queen E2, maybe. Uh, and uh, also same same goes for black, I mean, so many possibilities, but I believe that we, uh, when we got this position, two rooks and bishop uh, versus two rooks and mm -hmm. bishop. Maybe we can uh, go there. Uh, yeah, I think this is like, uh, I don't think that, I mean, uh, for sure white is safe and, uh, uh, but I don't think that, I mean, it's uh, something for white. It's probably just equal, especially that it's possible to trade all four rooks. When I played rook h1, for the rooks it's possible to trade and, uh, or play rook h7 first and then trade. And okay, maybe due to some of these <coughs> eventual f4, f5 break, whites has some symbolic advantage, but I believe it's just equal, as it should be drawn normally, it's always. But then by the end, yeah, Larry started um, making uh, errors. Yeah, like this A4 move, yeah, A4, allowing A5. Uh, mm -hmm. In general, this plan, rook D7, rook C4, I didn't understand that. that uh, but uh, yeah, A4, yeah, at least this, I mean, white has free hand here, and F5. Uh, rook D4, I think, also bad move, I don't know. But maybe after F5 already has problems, because somehow rook is coming and... Uh, Okay, I thought that if black can somehow maybe give a piece and make somehow draw, but then okay, what to do, yeah? But mm -hmm. here, at least after f5, it's pleasant. Also, I'm not sure that f4, then I, I was thinking it, it, instead of f4, there is mm -hmm. there was, uh, you know, what possibility? Then I saw, but somehow it was not. Uh, rook takes c4 and king f4, king g5, like mm -hmm. this. Takes king f4, king g5, and then f4. But uh, too complicated, black creates some counterplay there, and uh, I don't know. But it possibly this was, but you know, by the end already not much time to calculate all this. Because even after I play, let's say king g5, king g f4, there is this rook d3, rook g3 maneuver against f5. And uh, so I was not sure that, um, but okay, maybe it's uh, also worth uh, just uh, attention, at least it was interesting maybe also. Because after f4, if black prepares somehow mm -hmm. against this f5 move, I don't know, but some move maybe. Uh, King of Summer Rook H8 he did not like, but uh, maybe some move to prepare against this F5 break. And, uh, <coughs> like Rook H7 for, or something? Or? Yeah, maybe Rook H7 here at once. I mean, this, okay, it's, uh, I mean, this Bishop endgame, it's clear, pleasant for White, but uh, okay, it should draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I didn't understand because he started um, uh, wasting time here and uh, ended up with this strange A4 and in general, all moves strange. Uh, I see. Well, um, I mean, so far, so good. Um, how do you manage to, let's say, stay focused, take it one game at a time? Do you have any special mindset for the tournament? No, no, nothing. No, no <laughs> just uh, <laughs> these last two years, again, I had bad experience. So just, no, it just somehow it went like this. I, this time somehow I just uh, managed to avoid uh, errors, yeah, because those two years that I was playing, I don't know, because of I was maybe rusty or uh, some other um, cause, I don't know, but somehow I was I was not playing my best. Here, okay, probably complicated games always come with uh, some inaccuracies, but okay, by now it's more or less normal. I mean, it's playable. All right. Well, very good. Well, Vladimir, wish you the best of luck and thank you for coming thank in. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Kostya, and congratulations, Vladimir.